So, we're back again. It's been a fun uh, Christmas and New Year, and um, got to spend quite a bit of time working on the plane uh, in between all the festivities. Uh, this video, I'm continuing to work on the center seat back brace, uh, armrest and uh, slash keel area. And um, yeah, this is turning out to be a lot more work than I thought. Um, I definitely thought by the time I was releasing this video it would be installed into the fuselage but that is turning out to be pretty difficult. Um, a lot of work. Uh, there is a little interlude a bit later where I talk about a small little mistake I made. I uh, lost about like, an hour or two to it. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's, it's going pretty smoothly. It's just a lot of work and um, I'm getting to spend an hour or two at a time on it, uh, which is good. Um, they say you should rather spend time frequently on the project than try to eke out huge blocks of time. Uh, there's a lot of curing in between steps, um, but that works for me. It's nice little do a bit of work, wait for things to cure, come back tomorrow and continue working. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video and uh, have fun and be careful out there.
made an oopsie here. I've assembled this and um, there it is and I've uh, glassed the outside of that and I've glassed the outside of that but note this says all outside surfaces well if you turn this around I haven't glassed this so we're gonna have to put a little bit of gloss on there small little oversights but yeah So if one reverses back to when I was cutting this instrument panel out of foam, I mentioned that the bottom of the instrument panel was extended by a quarter of an inch uh, because a lot of boulders had problems with it being too short. Um, so it's in the fuselage now and I'm getting ready for, uh, you know, putting in the, the keel area and, um, and the bottom. So I have to cut this flush with, uh, with the longerons here. And, um, I'm cutting off about, I don't know how clear that's going to be, but where that line is and where I'm cutting there is about an eighth of an inch. And um, so that's what's, what ended up uh, helping actually. So there's an eighth there that wouldn't have been there if I had cut them just according to what the plans, um, or at least what the CAD uh, template for this far for this uh, instrument panel was. So it did end up being a useful hint and it's definitely saved me some trouble.